Extracting gonads What supplies and equipment do you need? To extract the gonads from a fish, you will need a sturdy pair of scissors or a serrated knife, tweezers, identification tag, scalpel, container in which to place the gonads, this time we'll use a petri dish, and if possible, water. How are the gonads extracted? Conventional method – ventral incision. The most common method used with a reef fish is to make an incision on the ventral side. This is done, for example, with groupers. To begin, turn the fish so that the abdominal cavity is facing upwards, like this. Next, make an incision from the anus to the gills, making sure not to cut beneath the skin to avoid damaging the internal cavity organs. The pectoral fin section is generally sturdier. To work with it, use a strong pair of scissors or a serrated knife. After making the incision, locate the gonads. They are located in the lower part of the abdominal cavity, connected to the anus, and generally under the intestines and attached to the swim bladder. To make it easier to locate and extract the gonads, you may make cuts on both sides of the abdomen. You may also cut the part of the intestines connected to the anus. When the gonads have been located, they must be isolated by separating them from the surrounding tissues using a pair of tweezers or scissors. In some species, such as Lutinus vita, the gonads may be caught up in the fat and are more difficult to isolate. When the gonads have been separated, use the scissors to make a cut as close to the anus as possible to extract them. And there you are, the gonads are extracted. You may now place them in the container and add the identification tag. Be sure to add a little water so that the gonads do not dry up before weighing and observation. Did you follow all that? Here's a summary of the method. Method 1. Place the fish with the abdominal cavity facing upwards. Make a cut from the anus to the gills. Locate the gonads. Isolate the gonads. Cut the gonads as close as possible to the anus. Store the gonads in a labeled container with a little water. Alternative method – lateral incision A second method is used for herbivorous fish, particularly the Acantheridae family such as the unicorn fish and the Sigonidae such as the rabbit fish. The principle of this method is to use a scalpel to make a lateral incision from the gills to the anus on both sides of the fish. As you get close to the abdomen, the incision must be increasingly shallow so as not to damage the internal organs. Do the same thing on the other side. Some parts of the body are more difficult to cut. You can shift the scalpel from its initial path to make the incision easier and reach the anus. Next, apply downward pressure on the front of the head to break the spine. This step is not easy when working on large fish. You may need to use a pair of sturdy scissors or side cutters. When the spine has been broken, keep the pressure on the front of the head until all of the internal organs have been removed from the abdominal cavity. The gonads are now visible at the bottom of the abdominal cavity near the anus. Be careful not to completely separate the head from the body of the fish, as this may damage the gonads. Next, you can extract the gonads by cutting the tissues that connect them to the abdominal cavity. The last step is to place them in a container with an identification tag along with a little water. 
Here is a summary of the second method. Method 2. Perform a lateral incision on both sides of the fish. Break the spine. Apply pressure on the head to release the internal organs. Locate the gonads. Isolate the gonads. Cut the gonads as close as possible to the anus. Store the gonads in a labeled container with a little water. Join us for the next episode to learn how the gonads are used to determine the sex of a fish and assess its maturity.